Good morning. It is Monday. Another great day. It was a great weekend. Uh, I wanted to thank all the individuals out there uh, who were able to uh, send me a nice positive uh, Father, Father's Day greeting uh, and kind words. Uh, I wanted to thank you for that. And for all the fathers out there, a belated happy Father's Day to you. Now, that being said, uh, this morning what I'd like to touch on a little bit is the idea of transformation. And transformation, uh, in what I'm going to talk about a little bit in this moment or in this segment with you, is going to be really based on the fact that, for one, transformation is going to happen in a physical form over time that is a reflection of our bodies decaying as we age. But how we choose to decay, um, we have a choice. And how we choose to change in a certain way, we have a choice. Now, looking at how life is structured, um, we come out in this world very energetic, we're young, we're ambitious, we're driven, we have our bodies just, our soul, you know, pretty much on average ready to just take on the world. And as we, you know, evolve and, and age in our 50s, 60s, and 70s, we obviously start to see a more physical change as well as a mental change occurring in people. And what can be challenging for those is that as people change and evolve, and I like to say decay from the outside, but strengthen themselves from the inside, you are now going to see how many people are carrying the burdens of the past with them as they transform, as they go through this transformation. Um, if people are carrying burdens of trauma, a sexual abuse, uh, a negative ex life experience from the past in their teen years or in their younger years, and they're in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, what we are going to see is an epidemic of individuals dying early, physically and mentally, because they still have that weight upon them as they decay from the outside, as their bodies change. Because let's face it, when people are going through a mental and physical change in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, nowadays it's 10 times more um, open to people de developing illnesses that cannot be really healed over time, especially with that added weight or that burden. Now, when we look at the teachings of life, we are a product of 50 to 60 percent of our upbringing is going to help us learn what it means to be happy from the things that we've been exposed to in our family and how our family teaches us what happiness and living life really means and the anywhere between the other 40 percent of that um or or 50 percent however you want to see it um the rest of it's going to come from life experiences the people we meet um some of the challenges we may have faced are going to add to helping us understand the value of life. And when we learn how to process those things, we have to realize that because we, we learn through examples and teaching and understanding, we also have to realize that transformation in this way that I'm speaking about it is go going to happen regardless because we can't stop time. We can't hold back time. Father time is gonna take us over time. <laughs> and once that happens, we have to make a decision on how we want to live the rest of our lives and while we're young for some of us it's important for us to see that in early so that we can detect certain things early enough so that when we get older it doesn't weigh us down for those that are quote unquote in their 50s 60s 70s or 80s now it's time for us to realize that those things that may have contributed um, to, to our our attitudes in a negative way or how we perceive ourselves or how we speak or how we act it is time for us to bury those things before we take them with us and bury them with us underground. So, to start off our Mondays, if it's Monday morning, Monday afternoon, or Monday evening, I'd like for everybody to do an assessment of any baggage that they don't really need. But this is a process. This is not something that's gonna happen over time. Like, it takes time for this to happen. It's not gonna happen overnight. We have to start the process. And it's like anybody who wants to go to the gym. They say they want to work out, they want to build muscle, they want to do all these great things to be physically active, but they only want to go to the gym once a week. That's not going to happen. So it's time for us to really look at life from the lens of what can we do about it now to start incorporating different behaviors, actions, and our attitudes towards helping us understand that as we evolve, we're strengthening our inside core of who we authentically are and we're allowing the outside piece to slowly, quote unquote, decay, age, change over time without it um, uh, having other things involved to speed up the process of change. Because we're seeing it now 
and it's time for us that to take opportunities to um, reduce um, how, how much of that we really um, add to and things that we're adding to it, the things that we don't need. Let's have a great day and we'll talk soon.